And so from an Algorand perspective, uh, the best place for stablecoins to live is really on Algorand because stablecoins uh, don't require smart contracts. Like, and that's just something that's uniquely Algorand. So we have this thing called ASAs, Algorand Standard Assets, which are basically our implementation of tokens. And these ASAs are primitives in the Algorand protocol itself. So in, in Ethereum or any kind of EVM-like chain, when you or Solana even too, if you want to create a token, you have to create a smart contract. And the token is kind of managed by a smart contract. In the case of Algorand, that's not the case. There's no, um, there's no smart contract needed. It's built into the system. And on top of that, it comes with the features that are required for compliance. So all of the things that when Paul Atkins is talking about compliance, the importance of compliance, all these things are already available on Algorand as, as part of the normal token issuance. So there's no better chain to kind of issue these stablecoins on than, than Algorand for these reasons.